because most of you are probably aware, Easter is right around the corner and for those of you with kids, that probably, if not definitely, means Easter eggs. And something that's really popular nowadays is the Easter egg basket, which is a couple of activities as well as possibly eggs or treats. Um, and this is the first time I've decided to put one of these together for Isabella because she's now two and able to probably appreciate it. I thought I'd show you what we have in our Easter basket, so please let me know what you think. Please stick around to the end of the video because I will be doing a small giveaway um, for one of you lucky winners. Poundland was really prepared for this this year. They were last year, but this year they had some awesome things in. They had so many different types of baskets, bags, um, even just tableware and stuff. They're so budget friendly. They have loads of different types of baskets, plastic ones, cardboard ones, metal ones, a little cardboard basket. They had a couple of different colours. They had a blue one, a green one, a pink one, and this yellow one. I thought this was really sort of seasonal, so I went for this one. And it's quite big, lots of space in there for presents, an Easter egg or two, maybe a couple of activities. I also picked up this little metal one because I thought it was really cute. Again, if you're having even like an Easter party, you don't have to put necessarily gifts in here, but you could put um, maybe a couple of treats in there, like just for handouts on the table, cutlery, pens, crowns if you're doing activities and things. But if you are doing an Easter basket, you might want to pack it out a little bit or have some decoration to go with that. I picked up this shredded paper, again, only a pound. You get these in different colours, pink, purple, green, blue, yellow, orange. I think they had a red one, but again, there's quite a lot in here, so definitely enough to do more than one of those baskets. Some festive ribbons, you had a couple of different types, only a pound. I think, I think they're going to be necessarily very long, so it depends on what you want to wrap with them. But yeah, I thought they were just a nice little decorative touch, so I picked up some of those as well. An Easter basket, chances are you're going to want an Easter egg. Sometimes they can be really expensive, even in Tesco's and things, they can be at least four or five pounds, depending on the egg you want. Isabella is still two, so she's not really going to need a lot of egg. Just a little dairy milk one. They also did Malteser, M&M, Kit Kat as well. Again, only a pound. It's only a small egg, so it's plenty of for her and two-year-old. And if you have more than one child, they even have a place on the side that says this egg belongs to, so there are no arguments. Now, obviously, you're going to want things to stock up, perhaps, the basket. They had just, you know, loose cream in, loads of different chocolatey treats, different um, character shapes, little figurines. They're milk chocolate, again you know one each child if you have more than one child you can put them all in one depending on what you want but again three for a pound i thought that was really good a pack of eight uh lollies on a stick again i think they're the shape of an easter bunny but you know you can't really go wrong just something to pack out the thing with there's not going to be too much chocolate on there but you know it's something to keep them entertained again if you're having a party this would be really good as little handout or favors there of course it wouldn't be easy without many eggs so i had to pick up some of those um I know Easter is a lot about chocolate, but if you're wanting to move away from that, you can always, there's so many little cute crafts you can get from Poundland. They do little felt puppets, um, bonnet making. I actually picked up this little make your own Easter egg bonnet. They did this in another style as well, but I thought this one was more cute. It comes with um, different accessories. It does say you need to involve glue or double-sided sticky tape yourself. I already had that to hand, and if not, you can pick it up in Poundland. So for the kids, or if you're having a little Easter party, this would be a really great little activity to get them involved. In. Um, some really cute games in there at the moment. I picked up this um, pin the tail on the bunny. It comes with four tails, a mask and a little bunny poster. Again, just something to keep the kids entertained. Like different decorations that you can stick on bonnets ready made. I picked up some of these little uh, bunnies. Again, you could even use these as a table decorations or a seasonal decor around your house. They come in a different colour. They also do tons and tons of different chicks. Chicks with glasses on, chicks with rosy cheeks, just the normal little yellow chicks. But I thought these were something a little bit different and I decided to pick up those. If however your kids do like making a lot of mess, they do sell these. Paint your own Easter bunny. Um, they also do these in an egg shape and a chick shape as well and it's just it comes with three different little paints, a brush and a little ceramic creature to paint and I just couldn't resist picking that up because I thought it'd be nice to see just how her imagination works and what she wants to colour in. They also did some a uh, pack of three activity books as well. If you wanted to do some of them, Isabella, some of them were like crosswords and things. So for us personally, that was a little bit too advanced for Isabella at this stage. However, they did do this scrapbook set. It comes with um, stickers, um, different colours scrap pages in a book, some photo frames, um, and a couple of other embellishments as well. So again, only a pound for all of that. If perhaps you want to do something a little bit bigger than just an Easter egg basket, they do tons of awesome Easter party wear at the moment. They did banners, decoration, tablecloths, confetti, cups, napkins, which are really cute little carrot shapes. 
Um, again, paper plates, little lights, as I said, bunting. They even did crackers. They actually did crackers and cupcake cases, the little decorations that you can stick in the top of the cakes as favours. Um, even if you don't want to do an Easter party, if you had a child's birthday that was around Easter time, that would be really, really interesting to do something like that because, again, you could have loads of little favours for them and it would all just be really uniform and nice. So I've been saying what to do for a giveaway for a little while now and I'm finally able to do one. This is just some of the items that are involved in today's haul so if you want to be a part of that please like, share and comment on this video. The easiest way for me to um, manage the comments are actually to go off my Facebook page so if you haven't already I'll link that in below. This is quite a small channel at the moment. I'm only localising it to currently in the UK, however if I get some people saying that they would be interested in it from overseas, depending on the volumes I may be able to do that in the future, so please let me know if you are interested. I hope you enjoyed today's Easter haul and it gave you some inspiration. Please like, share and follow me, I'm currently on Facebook and Twitter, as I said I'll link that in below. Um, don't forget to subscribe, you can check out more information on my blog if you are interested, dayofnight.bb.com. Thank you so much for everyone that's followed me, I really appreciate all your comments and feedback. Thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you soon. Bye guys.